Hey, people are only a triumphant tale of true music, true creativity, and jazz. We are making a simple message that if we are to build ourselves anew, what kind of music, what kind of story, what kind of fairy tales are our children going to grow up with? We are going beyond the mind of the press. Sound Nongoma is the first free jazz operetta to be produced in these parts of town, perhaps in the world as well. It's a magical experience about the birth, crucifixion, and resurrection of music. This world is run by fairy tales. We need our own fairy tales. Wow, the city of Swan and South African State Theatre, together with the African Freedom Station, is currently playing host to a play called Song of Nongoma. The production that fuses jazz, drama, poetry and film on stage is a brainchild of Dr. Steve Kwena Mukwena as well as Dr. Hafela Wamukhudi, whom respectively wrote and directed the piece. We joined this morning in our studios in Johannesburg by Dr. Steve Mukwena, uh, Dr. Steve Kwena Mukwena to tell us more about the song of Nongoma. Raiso, good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Well, just, just, an, just a correction, yeah. I am no doctor. Oh, you know. Not even of the Dr. Kumala or Dr. Malinga <laughs> kind. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it's unsere Priam to something for you. Who knows? Let's just stay away from the controversy. For now. I'm just going. All right, all right. But good morning and Rawam Hela Morning Live. Talk to us about the collaboration. When did it start and how did it come about? Um the the we run a place called the African Freedom Station, a stone throw away from Sophia Town. It's a cultural hub for a lot of artists. That's where we met a lot of a lot of musicians, actors, writers, poets, and me and Kafela. Um, decided that one of the best ways to capture the dynamic creative culture that's happening right now was to write something that would, we would throw into the next generation. Mm. That's how we came up with the story of Song of Nongoma because it brings together the best of what we desire for mm. our young. Mm. Yeah, because I wanted to ask as to what set this play apart from the previous ones that we've seen. This is, well, we first, it's a fairy tale. Set in the future. It's a fairy tale. It's a fairy tale. It's a fairy tale. Mm. So it's larger than yeah. life. Yeah. It fuses aspects of free jazz with the best of po poetry. And we've got a wonderful cast. Uh, Ayanda Nklangoti and Sibone Rangata who uh, lead this thing. And then uh, we've got a young man called Tepo. He's also called Bagzito. And, uh, uh, and, and Sandy Lemakoba. The four of them create extraordinary magic on that stage. So we just found it a great opportunity to use art to intervene in a very difficult time right now. Mm. Yeah, because I also wanted to ask us to, what is it all about? <laughs> the, 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 the core of the story is that music, art, culture bears the solution to the intractable problems of our life. But there are people who are trying to control people, trying to control and manipulate people. And one of the best things that they use is music. In our play, the god of greed and hate who's larger than life, who runs a computer cash register that is throwing music from the clouds of cacophony, controls the world using that. So we respond with the human heart. We respond with the soft textures of the human imagination to say we are only as healthy and powerful as the stories we tell ourselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to talk this in this um, fairy tale, mm -hmm. but your role and that of Ndate Khafela, mm -hmm. the image? Not Ndate Khafela, we co-wrote it together. He's a, he's a fantastic imagination and the country knows him well. They know him as a poet, they know him as a musician with a band leader, but he's also a dramaturg and a teacher of theatre. Um, so he brings an incredible capacity. Our style depends on movement and exaggeration and it's a wow factor. So even the littlest people will get it and the oldest people will laugh with them as well. So Kavala is, is, is an excellent creative collaborator that way. I myself, um, I'm a historian, a writer, a poet, mm. I organize things, I, I paint as well. So we found that by creating something like this, we created a little bit of a playground of the imagination and we've been affirmed. Song of Nogoma has been to the Soweto Theatre twice. It's now at the State Theatre. 
And, and how has the response been so far? It's been amazing. Yeah. Thank you to the people of Tuani. You know, people have always said that the people up there are responsive and supportive, but we've seen it with our own eyes. We've had a run Thursday, Friday, Saturday with a matinee. It was exceptional. We have a run this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday again. And uh, I have no reason to believe, to believe that it's going to be any different mm -hmm. because I think it was a wonderful time that we had. So you're saying that it caters for everyone? It caters for everyone. The languages. language that we use, for instance. Uh, have you ever heard of a fairy tale in which it's Bidorina? Uh, but you would like who? Feel like yes, to us. Was we do? Ah, that means you. That means so it's a little bit of everything in, in the play. Yeah. It is also. I truly say, if somebody came from China and said, "This is how we do opera," we'll understand that that's what they do. If we put up song of Nongoma, they'll say, "Wow, that's why people in South Africa are called the children of song." You know, mm -hmm. this is a homage. It's 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 it, it, it's an act of respect from us to people who've done this before. You must remember. South African opera in this sense, jazz opera, it goes back to King Kong, you know. So we are just trying to become part of one long soul thread. Mm -hmm. All right, and I believe there's a special element that you brought into this play. Many special elements. I, I have two to speak about okay. in particular. Uh, we've got a sand poet. He paints with sand and the images come and go as you watch this thing. So we are always massaging you as we're going forward. His name is Tawanda Mandu. He's, from, he's a Zimbabwean uh, young artist. Incredible. The second beautiful element of this is that we've got a musical director. He's a young man trained by brother Johnny Makwa from Daviton and he's an extraordinary musician, Malcolm Gianni. He has put together a wonderful ensemble of musicians with extraordinary ability. We have, as a result of this effort, been approached by producers as far afield as New York. Mm. So we think that uh, if we remain humble and gentle, we might actually contribute to South African heritage in an important way. Looks like it. Yeah, yeah. it looks like it. But let's as long as it is the knowledge to the younger generation, because I'm sitting here and listening to you and I'm blown away how mm -hmm. work the experience that you have and that often that the Hafele as well. Let's it is as long the knowledge to the younger generation. Well, we're both teachers in respective in institutions. We both, right? We both hang at the African Freedom Station. Every single human being must come to that space at least one time in their lifetime. And that is where we do most of our work. You know the world right now, I'm sure the preceding news items have been about trauma, about tragedy, about intractable social problems. And the people who claim to have the solutions are all lying. Solution seeking is a creative process, it's a process of making ourselves into something new. And I think through playing, through creativity, we always intuit our better self. We're always saying that, you know, we are not all trouble. We are also beyond our trouble, but we will give you trouble if we have to, mm. because we know we are here to make the world beautiful. All right. For someone watching this interview at home, how would you encourage them to go out and watch this play? What will they walk away with after watching the play? You have never been wowed like this before. The play begins and people sing along and chant mm. along. Children scream and sigh. I, I, I think that the... the, the the people who came up with this form, this is a new form, by the way. We combine free jazz, which is improvisational, mm -hmm. with extraordinary singing, with amazing props yeah. and amazing. So this thing, Gabriel and Jay Appeal. So mm -hmm. you've never seen anything like this before. And Not those who've seen it, yeah. You don't think you don't think that you know it because it changes all the time. I just want a little bit of what we're talking about this morning. But thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Thank you very much. There we have it. Steve Gwen Amogwena talking to us about the song of Nongoma. Hey, people are only a triumphant tale of true music, true creativity, and jazz. We are making a simple message that if we are to build ourselves anew, what kind of music, what kind of story, what kind of fairy tales are our children going to grow up with? We are going beyond the mind of the press. The song of Nongoma is the first free jazz operetta to be produced in these parts of town, perhaps in the world as well. It's a magical experience about the birth, crucifixion, and resurrection of music. This world is run by fairy tales. We need our own fairy tales. Naka, 
Sure, that looks fantastic. It really does. Very. Amazing, hey? Very beautiful. What beautiful. a busy show.